Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the second video of two that we've got for you today. Mm -hmm. Angry Joe's on vacation, he'll be back next week. Uh, before we get into the gaming news, we have a quick word from our sponsor. If the clothes makes the man, what does that say about me? I live my life one costume at a time. So I let my accessories define my style, my phone, my watch, my wallet. Well, maybe not my wallet. Oh my god, gross. I need to stop keeping candy in here. I'm getting an extra. You should too. Go to extra.com slash angry joe show for 25% off smart wallet. That's an even deeper discount than before. Upgrade your style with extra. That video just makes me look so cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you're very, very classy, man. <sighs> Doing the cuff thing. Doing the cuff my, thing, yeah. My wallet. I'll, I'll some stick help. it. You need, your wallet needs some help. <laughs> Guys, get yourself an extra wallet. This is a gadget that you use absolutely every day. They're super affordable, insanely durable. They look great. Um, so I mean, it's a, it's a no brainer. You should definitely upgrade your style. Check this one out. See? It's so cool. Yeah, it's like your own little fidget spinner. It you is. You can just sit there and do that the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Into the gaming news. CD Projekt Red has a smash hit on their hands, and it's not... Had. No. Oh. Has, because oh, it's, okay. it's not cyberpunk. It's That's the other thing, thinking. you know, the thing that, that makes more money. The Witcher Monster Slayer reaches 1 million downloads in one week. Damn. And they made $500,000 in one week, and it's in one week. So... That is a well. The battle is over. We have lost mobile gaming. Yeah, it is here to stay forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So if you've been wondering why some of the cyberpunk fixes have taken so long, it's because they don't give a shit and they're, they're working on mobile. More games. money a uh, week. <laughs> yeah, on mobile games, and so this number is going to continue to rise as mobile games do. It's only the first week. It was the number one game in Poland. If the spending in the United States is absolutely crazy on it, and it's just going to continue to climb. And uh, they're going to realize that AAA RPGs are not worth the time, effort, and uh, money. And it's easier to make a low-effort mobile game, and it'll make more money. Yeah, because look at what happened. In the first week, already $1 million and they're spending all this money. And like, oh, man, that was such a headache. We wasted all our time with uh, Cyberpunk, and it was just a terrible. It's like, let's just go to mobile. It was way easier. It was way easier to do that. <laughs> yeah, everyone easier. loves The Witcher, man. And then next, there's going to be a Cyberpunk. It won't be Monster Slayer. It will be Bounty Hunter. Cyberhunk. Cy Cyberhunk. 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 Yeah, well, that's the, that's that's the, the off-brand one. one we should do. We should make <laughs> Cyberhunk, yeah. Um, but, you know, Cyberpunk, Bounty Hunter, and they'll just include all the stuff that should have been in Cyberpunk. Yeah. Uh, they'll just put it into the mobile game instead. It's like, oh, no, you got to spend um, $1 a minute to, to play there. Uh, <sighs> and more dance. mobile game bad news. Uh, Riot Games mobile titles generate over a hundred million dollars. So League of Legends Wild Rift alone generates sixty percent of the pub publisher's mobile revenue. Um, you play that game on mobile? No, I, I don't play any mobile games. I've got no games on my phone. I was just checking. Yeah, I know you play League of Legends. I played some this week, and it had been a little while Did since you? I played some, and I just forgot how deliciously toxic everything is, and it's it's cr it's wild. It's like your mid laner is 0 and 32, and they're talking shit on the jungler, who is also 0 and 7, and they're arguing, like, who's worse? It's like, you're both idiots. Will you please just shut up? So <laughs> no. if you want to play League of Legends, don't. But if you do anyway, mute all. It'll make the game uh, less miserable. Yeah. I want, we won those games, though. It was, it was still pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, they're making uh, $100 million. They're making a killing. Um, yeah. Google Play Storefront has seen the majority of Riot's mobile revenue at 60% of player spending. Um, What's it, number two? Uh, for, for Riot? Mm -hmm. uh, they've got Team Fortress Tactics, which is their auto chess. Remember, Riot doesn't make games as they much copy. as they do. They copy someone else's <laughs> game. So right. they copied auto chess. <laughs> Um, and, you know, they copied original Dota, and then they copied Auto Chess, and then they're co they're gonna, and they copied Hearthstone slash Magic the Gathering Legends of Ruterra. And so the next game that comes out that will be popular, we'll just get a Riot skin on it. Um, but it's smart. Did they have to do any work? A no. little bit. A little bit. A little okay, bit. a little bit. Yeah. But look at the return on that. I know. Look, the, we call Geniuses. them assholes, <laughs> but they're smarter because Geniuses. they have $100 million in mobile money, and we don't. Exactly. So we need to start using other people's good ideas, <laughs> and then we sell our souls to Tencent, and yes. then we make the monies. <sighs> you got to make a good contract, though. 
We're going to get fucked over. Yeah. <laughs> a percentage <laughs> of the profits, and then they just take all the profits. Nope. <laughs> yeah. All right. Facebook has said that they are going to halt Oculus Quest 2 sales uh, because uh, they're making your face itchy. Death on a leaf! Come on! Uh, I thought they were going to halt because of the stupid decision. They no, made. no, no. They like that decision. We, You should halt buying any Oculus products because Facebook is a piece of shit company. Yeah. Um, but they are halting sales because it's giving, like, red ring irritation. There's something on the, the – it's causing in some people – like break out, like you ever see so you know like uh, if people go snorkeling and they've been wearing yes. it too long and they have that. But imagine that, but it's like a rash and it makes your face itchy and it lasts for several days. Um, it's kind of funny. They're, now they're issuing it new is. uh, silicon replacements that will apparently help. But as of right now, if you needed another reason to not give Facebook your personal data and get ads in your games. Um, Look, Th- that's terrible. Get, like, oh, get an can HTC. I, like, can I have one without index. pink eye as well, too? Oh, yeah. I don't want pink eye. <laughs> you, have to, you have to watch ads and you get pink eye. So, um, No, no. I'm going a, I'm to a hold off on this one. Yeah. You have you have one, right? Not the... Uh, I have a different one. You have an Oculus, though, right? Yes. You have an Oculus. Yes. You have to log into Facebook? No. Well, I haven't turned it on since we last played. Oh, okay. So, I don't think so. So they're also launching a new 128 gig model of the Oculus Quest 2 this month, um, which will include the new ones that won't give you the, you the know, rash. The, the, a rash on your face. Um, but again, you still will need a Facebook account. It has to be a real account. You can't make a fake one or they'll ban you and take your games away. Um, and they just want your data. I can't believe he's still stuck with that. Like, Why would they? There wasn't they? enough uh, riot or anything. They're like, no, we don't want this. This is bullshit. Why would they? People like you... Keep giving them money. I didn't give them money. I, I got that one a long time ago before they did that. Yeah. So they do this because everyone is on Facebook and Instagram, which they own both, and they need that ad mm-hmm. revenue. And uh, and so they want your data. And unless you stop giving them your data, they're going to continue to do this. Uh, keep mm-hmm. ads out of paid games. Look, if you want to put ads in free-to-play games, it's awful, but it whatever. Is. You need to make your money. But if I paid for a game and you put an ad in it, you're a piece of shit. And I will, I will not play. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> All right. Paul Tassi put out an interesting article uh, for Forbes uh, talking about Cyberpunk 2077 and comparing it directly to No Man's Sky. Now, both games came out buggy and broken. Now, Cyberpunk was clearly a more... It was a more polished turd than, yes. uh, than No Man's Sky, for sure. Especially if you played it on PC. I played it on console. It was awful. Um, and so they're talking about the, the length of time it took to kind of, quote-unquote, fix one and make improvements. And so detailing the roadmap that Cyberpunk has had, it's been eight months. Now, No Man's Sky started to fix itself within that eight-month period of time. Now, Cyberpunk has done some bug fixes and some basic stabilization. That long list. But we have no... In the, you know all the things that they quote unquote promised us, you know, uh, shooting out of your car and um, bounties, customization, you know, being <laughs> a being a bounty hunter, doing all the things that people expected to do in a cyberpunk world, still aren't in there. And we talked earlier about well, they're making easy money elsewhere, and they're probably looking at making a cyberpunk mobile game. And we still don't have that big patch for uh, or DLC. I was waiting for. I was going to say the DLC. Yeah, I do want to go back but and, I want and to play Cyberpunk some... on PC because I finished it on PS4, base PS4, and it was it's time for an upgrade. It sucked. <laughs> and so uh, I'd, I'd like to play it on PC, but I'm waiting for a DLC to come out just to see if they actually fix some shit. But they, the thing the issue is they really haven't. You there's you can have some fun there. But we, we, as consumers, deserve <coughs> significantly better, better for that. And I definitely felt lied to and, and kind of betrayed because we, you know, we, like, we love CD Projekt Red. Right? We got yeah. What happened? And then now you're, you're at the very, you're, you're a lying piece of shit like the rest of them. Corporate bullshit. So we haven't heard anything about the new DLC. We were expecting to have it June. A bit huge patch to fix things in like June, July. We are now in August. We still don't have anything. So hopefully, we don't even have the roadmap anymore, right? Well, no, no, messed up the roadmap. We, we have to hire someone to fix the roadmap. We'll have yeah, to pull them the off the mobile team. I put, I post up the roadmap, the original one they have. That's not even close. 
to what they were supposed to be doing. No, they're just going to do the Star Citizen thing where it's just like, no, 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 there's a roadmap uh, to the roadmap, and you gotta, you gotta wait, and and we'll fix that. No, yeah. no. Ugh. All so, right. That's that's so much bullshit, though. I don't know what they're gonna do now. Like they lost a lot of points for me. The next game, well, the mobile game, I'm not gonna get. Well, I'm not getting the mobile game. Nope, but you know, they're, they're they're working on another Witcher product. They're they're gonna be like, no, no, the Witcher's I'm different. Hold off, no. <laughs> You're not gonna pre-order it. Nope, never do. What if you get like a unique Henry Cavill something? If you only if you pre-order, like a signed autograph, or no, just a a, a tub picture of him. All right, maybe we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna we'll do it. See. I'm just not gonna tell you that I do it. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel my pre-order after I get my stuff. It, can it, it, no, no, then you don't get <laughs> damn the it. <laughs> All right, we got some more gaming bad news. Uh, according to a report, Horizon Forbidden West is delayed until 2022. No, that game looked good. This game does look really good. It was one that I was genuinely inci- excited for. It was one of the reasons that I worked so hard to find a PlayStation. <laughs> it's fine. A PlayStation you finally got one. I got one. <laughs> one of, someone in the Angry Army uh, was able to find one. Uh, not a scalper. They bought one. They showed me the receipt, and uh, and and then I was able to buy it from them, and so that was amazing. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna play this game," and uh, no, nope. no, you're not. I have to wait. So it's gonna sit there, and uh, I bought Ratchet and Clank. I'll probably I'll probably give that one a go. But according to the new Demon report, Demon Souls, from, you can play get play some Demon Souls. Yeah, I may have to. I'm, I don't want to buy. I'm gonna take his CD. Oh yeah, honestly, I'll just take it. Yeah, he won't notice. <laughs> according to a new report from Bloomberg, the open world story of Alloy uh, is con- uh, first quarter 2022. So that's not so bad. It, it's just one less thing in Broke-tober area. Uh, like, yeah. So it's September, October, November of this year is just slammed with new stuff. But some things are trickling out into the following quarter. I don't mind this that much. Uh, if you're a PS5 person that is really trying to justify the you know, waiting in line or all those other things, I can imagine you being really disappointed. I, I'm a little disappointed. I just got one uh, because yeah. there's no games yeah, for any of the new consoles, like, yeah, I'm, I'm and it's okay. pushed back still. Um, but you'll have to wait till next year. I mean, you'll get to play Battlefield or something. Yeah, hopefully they just fix whatever is going on and just polish it up a little bit more, and it'll be a playable game. Mm-hmm. Hope so. Well, speaking <laughs> yeah, of delayed mm-hmm. games, Halo... Um, they had a tech test, and they invited <laughs> a bunch of people. And um, why would they do that? I wouldn't trust people. So you, funny you said that. Uh, yeah, you can't trust people because people <laughs> are assholes. Yes. And because people are assholes, and the people who are running the tech test made a boo boo. They allow. They were their the files that they sent to the tech test people were able to be data mined and uh, campaign information and story points and all sorts of stuff are out there now. And so there's a bunch of leaked story things because why the fuck would you give these files to people? Like, you didn't have someone over at 343 going, hey, maybe we shouldn't give this stuff yeah, to people. Yeah, it's like, just keep it within the company. You're like, what? what's going on? Why? Uh, yeah. So Halo's infinite story details have already started to leak. Of course, they're, it's going to be everywhere. People are going to make memes. It's going to be on 4chan and Reddit and everywhere else. Uh, so, so if you are terrified pretty, and you really, really stay off the internet, stay off the internet until Halo comes out. <laughs> but watch this, obviously. You only watch us. There will be no Halo uh, spoilers yes. on our show. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, they've data mined a slew of story details from the multiplayer exclusive preview build. So there was no reason for any of that stuff to be in there um, already. Uh, some campaign files were unintentionally included in the build, went out to players and asked those who have seen them not to spoil the game for others. Leaks like this are painful for the dev team and can mm. ruin the campaign experience for everyone. You're correct. Yes. And you shouldn't have included them in there. Yep. There's no fucking reason. This is 100% your fault. As soon as he told me that, I was like, this is a bad idea. I don't even work there. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, Terrible. I don't know. Some people have said that it's 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 a Halo game, and so you kind of know what the the campaign is. There's not going to be a lot. It's it's not a Shyamalan movie. Yeah. So, but at the same time, it sucks. You kind of want to. You want these big emotional moments to hit you the way that they should, especially if you've been a fan since the beginning, like we the have. New and experience and, and stuff. You like want that, a new yeah. experience, and so there's going to be spoilers out there. Um, they're going to try to do DMCA takedowns, but it doesn't matter because the second somebody there's, there's always there's always a way. Yeah. It's it, the internet. Yeah, there's going to be a meme, there's going to be a tweet, and what are you going to do? After after a million people see it, you're going to do a DMC takedown, and someone's just going to re, you know, redo it in some other form. So, other, other than Bad that... idea. Um, 
people were for the most part happy with the tech test, so the tech test went went okay. Um, what there is now, they said, is still pretty light. So they're like they're shooting bots and running gun drills and doing being able to do some things within the game. Um, but this is one that I I'm almost dreading the release of Halo because really. Again, I want it to do well because I do. Uh, Halo One was a wonderful, it's a classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we used to do Halo LAN parties, <laughs> and you know, we're t- you're talking about cardboard taped to the TV, That's lugging the, TVs around everywhere. Feel, man. And yeah. then we we had a Franken uh, Xbox because there was a problem with the laser, so we had to like take the case off and like screw with the things. And we found an internet guy to how to fix it. And so <laughs> our Xbox wasn't a box; it was more like pieces that we had to like move pieces. And so like there, I do, I really do have a love for that game. Um, hang them high pistols only was like the ultimate test of like who is dominant in video games. Uh, and I wanted, I want that to come back and I want to feel that way in a mm-hmm. game. Um, but everything we've seen so far didn't, didn't meet those expectations. And so take your time with it, make yeah. sure it's fixed. We want this, we want to love this game, but the expectations are pretty high. So it falls on you guys. Yeah. Don't, don't mess this up. Well, oh, God. If they're leaking <laughs> files, like, Maybe uh, they they did it themselves. Oh, so. They purposely leaked it. Yes, and it's and it's They're all like, like fake. Do they stuff? like the story? Maybe they do. It's like no, they hate it. Like, we're gonna postpone the game again. Like maybe you're giving them a lot of credit. Like a lot. That, of that's credit. too dumb. No, that's <laughs> that's too dumb. Too there's, dumb. There's no way, right? What I always want to <laughs> I always want to see in these articles is so and so was fired. Bill was fired. Bill is an idiot. Now, Bill accidentally put the story in the tech test that we released to thousands of people on the internet. Yes, we need to fire And we fire Bill. (laughs) And even if you make up Bill and he's not a real person, please tell me that you fired somebody because I need to know that that you're just like culling the herd of the idiocy. But they're not. That person's still there. And they have a job. And they're drinking coffee right now. And they should feel worse than they do. Well, it happens. What do you mean? It, it happens. No, this is not supposed to happen. This is a hundred million dollar to make game that's expected to make, you know, five hundred million dollars. Like this should not happen. Maybe yeah, like I said, maybe they're playing chess, man. I don't know. Four D, four D chess. Four D chess. Yeah, no, I don't think so. All right, guys. Thank you so much, Extra, for sponsoring this video. Yes. Go out and get yourself a wallet. Like we said, it's 25% off with our co- with our, our code. They're under $70 for these aluminum card holders. We love they them. are amazing. They are durable. And they look great. So we really appreciate you stopping by, and we will see you next time on The Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.